look in the mechanic today the mechanic we have our 2014 chevy cruise and on the chevy cruise we're going to show you how to remove the clock spring from this vehicle for replacement so to start with you would uh um as a brief overview you just connect your negative battery cable let your car sit for uh a good 15 minutes or more so that the uh, car will de-energize and hold your hand on the horn portion to make sure that all the power is de-energized on your vehicle then be able to pop this center um uh, airbag off and then uh, follow that procedure to remove this central airbag you turn this uh, 180 degrees be able to pop your screwdriver in there pop the little clips pop this off pull it off and then we have our um, electrical connector that we undo set this aside very gently and put that down now on the steering wheel we have one connector that goes in to the clock spring location we need to just squeeze that tab and pull that connector undone that's the only thing we'll need to unhook um, because everything runs through here being the horn and so forth so we unhook that from the clock spring sensor itself then we need a um, t45 a torx bit to get in there to loosen that and to remove it now this one you either have a buddy hold your steering wheel see if you can hold the steering wheel use a, uh, a decent breaker bar impact tool you name it um, there also is right up here in the bottom there is a, a hole where you can insert a very long screwdriver line it up and it will hold your steering wheel. one thing that you want to do here too is you want to have this in the central um, location so that your steering or your tires are headed straight forward. So I said a T45, it's a T50. All right, so when I tried it with the uh, the pin up in there, if I had some help, I uh, would be able to do it. Otherwise, bringing out the big gun and uh, able to undo it with the big impact. There we go. Undid, removed, and we set that bolt aside. And now, I want to just make a uh, make a line here so that when we put it back on we line up all the same splines our steering wheel was when it was removed which actually it has a nice indent in there and there's an indent in the steering wheel so pretty much felt proof so now that we've undid the bolt we've undid the electrical connector we should just be able to pull back on this make sure that we feed this back through the hole there because that stays attached to the clock spring portion of our unit and so that's the removal of our steering wheel from our Chevy Cruze so we've started by removing the uh, uh, center airbag that's inside the steering wheel we've removed the steering wheel itself and now we have to remove a couple more covers and they'll be able to gain access to be able to remove our clock spring unit for replacement or to be able to remove if we're replacing our um, combination switches being the switches for you know the turn indicators and also the uh, windshield wipers so with that being said we've got this all replaced we want to we want to still keep this in a good central upright location and then we gotta pop these covers off. The bottom cover, we have one a size seven millimeter bolt that's right in there. So once you have freed that, then we just need to pop this top cover up and off. And it doesn't come completely off. It has uh, a little skirt attachment there. So that's just gonna sit up like that. And this one does pop up and out separate little piece right there we have two uh, seven millimeter bolts right here that we need to remove to be able to get 
this bottom cover to come off completely. Right now, we can drop this out and remove that and set that aside. We have an electric connection down here in the bottom that comes into the clock spring. We have um, four little screws to remove, and then we'll be able to pull this clock spring unit out. And we have some electric connections to remove up at the top. All right, so removal of the clock spring, right? We've got to this point. We have four small um, screws to come around and remove. Those were just a P1 screw, and uh, remove those, set those aside. We have an electric connector down here at the bottom, and we have two up here up at the top. And so the one at the bottom is a bit tricky to get undone. Um, so you're gonna need a very small screwdriver or a small pick tool right down here in the middle. We're gonna just insert it in there while pulling down on the connector. So there's, a, uh, there's a central tab up in there. go. So we got the bottom one undone. And now we have the ones up top here to unhook. So there's a red uh, tab up top here. We pull that backward. I don't need to pull it completely out. And then that way we'll be able to depress the clamp right there to unhook that. And then Right there in the central is another clip that makes that electrical connection. So now we have that undone. We're going to want to, again, keep this in the straight up way and be able to pull this out for removal of your, um, your clock spring floor for replacement or to get to anything else behind here. So we have our clock spring right here. We make sure that we still have our uh, yellow portion of that in the sight glass straight up and down. We have the one connector that's gonna connect down here and we have the two connectors up top and we're gonna line this up and put this onto the um, bracket here. Now, we wanna make sure that we didn't move this if we bought a brand new one that it's in the center it can only turn so many revolutions to the right so many revolutions to the left so if we had this off by one revolution then when you install it and install your steering wheel and you go to turn to the left you'll break the ribbon tape in here and mess up your airbag system and then have to replace this again and uh, have your srs module sent in for repair so we have that sitting in there we still have this in the sight glass where it needs to be and four little screws that attach this to the um the bracket there. All right, we have the four little screws attached. We have the electric connections on the back to uh, connect in. That one, we just press. Press until we make sure it locked in. This one, also press until it locks in. And then we have our little safety lock connector to install also. And that is to make sure that it literally it's going to stay in there and not come undone with the vibrations of the road. And then we have the bottom one to put in here and to connect up. Again, just press until it clips in. And so that's a install of our clock spring. And like I said, if you were to spin this, we will do it. We spin it one revolution, right? The yellow um, marker in the sight glass isn't there. And so we'll want to turn it backwards 
and make sure that we have it lined up with the uh, the sight glass there to make sure that we keep this in the center so that we don't mess it up. With your clock spring um, installed for putting the rest of it together, then we're now ready where we can put this bottom piece on and attach that up and in here size seven millimeter bolt that goes right there and two that go right here. Right, we got those two bolts are tightened and uh, installed. Now we have this uh, portion to put up over here. The steering, well, it's not steering, but it's what goes over the lock system. Clamshell that back together. There we go. It's all clamshell snapped together. And then we have our top one to clamp down. Lock that back into place. And that line back up. And so everything here, this is, is all locked into place. Now we can go ahead and put our steering wheel back on, lining the lines up. And this one's actually pretty nice. Uh, it has some uh, solid splines, so you can't really have this off it's it's already set that it can only go really one direction but we still want to make sure that we keep it uh in the strength central location we're going to need to feed the electric through from the clock spring unit again make sure that we have this within the sight glass that we didn't rotate it um, too much of a revolution around and then we're going to line this up with the grooves and our mark that we did make there. And be able to install that. And then there is a little tab here and other things that keep that clock spring aligned where it needs to be. And now we have our one electric connection here. It goes into the clock spring and we can connect that. Then we install our large um, 50 bolt here and tighten that up. Right. Good and tight and uh, snugged in there. Had some thread lock on it. That's why it was uh, resisting a lot to go in initially but it's, it's in there and it's tight. And then the last thing, when you're putting this all back together, we're now ready to put our, our airbag back on. And again, uh, electric is still disconnected for this process. I'm gonna line up the uh, connector, press it in, press the uh, double lock in, and now be able to line this up just straight and press it straight on. And that is the way you put everything back together for your steering wheel, airbag, and all of those components that you need to put back on if you in the order in which you took them off. Thanks for watching Mechanic, where you can be the mechanic.